Patrol car video from the DUI stop involving Cousin Me and McNair just two days before they died. News Channel 5 investigative reporter Ben Hall reviewed the tape, which shows Cousin Me getting arrested and McNair taking a cab home. It all started when police pulled over the Cadillac Escalade on Broadway for going 54 in a 30 mile per hour zone. Sahel Kazumi was driving with Steve McNair in the passenger seat. After Officer Sean Taylor approached the SUV, Steve McNair asked if Officer Taylor remembered him. They would remember each other because five years earlier, Taylor pulled over McNair for DUI, but a judge threw out the case. This time, Officer Taylor went back to his patrol car and called a fellow officer, seemingly surprised by who was in the car. Guess who's with her? Yep. Drunk as he's drunk as hell, she's not. Taylor then puts Kazumi through field sobriety tests and determines she is impaired. Later, police allow McNair and someone else to get out of the SUV and take a taxi. In the back of the patrol car, Kazumi asks for McNair to come over, but he has already gone. He just left here. I told him you wanted to talk to him, and he was going to walk and come back to the car. I talked to you. He chose to get in a taxi and leave, so... Kazumi later calls another friend to come and get the SUV. She then calls McNair and asks that he get her out of jail. Yes, no, we get it. She spent about four hours in jail. Police say McNair did bond her out. They say later that same day, Kazumi bought the gun used in the murder. Ben Hall, News Channel 5, investigates. Police did not charge McNair because he and Kazumi owned the vehicle together. Now, if McNair had solely owned the vehicle, he could have faced charges for allowing an impaired person to drive.